It's time now for CEO Spotlight, where we have an in-depth conversation with top chief executives and take a deeper dive into their company and their industry. I spoke exclusively with IBM Chair, President and Chief Executive Ginny Rometty, of course. And in the first part of our discussion, when we talk about the evolution of its cloud offering and how it now cooperates with former competitors. This has always been something we have felt so true about. It's what the customer needs, it's what you do first, right? And our clients. And they live in a world that ever you're going to have. For sometimes your innovation will come from Google, Amazon, Microsoft, IBM, and you're going to want to take advantage wherever innovation comes from. And that's actually the idea in the way the world is going. So on one hand, you want to build something once, run it anywhere. And the second part is you want to get to innovation wherever it is. And so, like in almost every business, you have competition and cooperation. And in this case, and again, when we bought Red Hat, because it's a platform that goes across all of them, absolute commitment. It's open source, the world's leader, to run, and it does run on those platforms, and absolute commitment to the integrity of that. And that's really for our clients. Would you still see Microsoft, Amazon as competition? How do you make your name synonymous with cloud in the same way that they yeah. have almost become? It, it isn't, our name, we are the number one hybrid cloud player now. And so what, what I, that's what I want my name synonymous with. Mm. Number one hybrid cloud, best partner to help make you a cognitive enterprise. And that's a company that has got data and AI infused in all of the way it does its work. Because if you do that, you'll have to have a hybrid cloud underneath it. So I'm really about that digital transformation journey. And that means, at times, uh, you'll work with me. And by the way, you'll have many clouds. You already have many clouds. Most clients, I'll say to, I've had so many, I'll say, how many clouds do you think you have? They'll say, two, come back. I have seven. <laughs> I said, I, I, you don't realize what you have here. And so the idea behind that is connect all of that together and then when you speak of just cloud alone, the IBM cloud, which is both private mm -hmm. and public, I mean, we really are the best cloud for mission critical work because of the security end to end that's there and our ability to take mission critical apps and you have to understand how those work. That is our sweet spot. Are clients getting it? I think they're, oh, I know they're getting it. So take an example, um, Delta, take an example of AT&T. Uh, AT&T we just recently announced, it is to move all of AT&T business, all of their applications onto the IBM hybrid cloud. And as well with Red Hat, it will be out into the network. So your network services come faster. And that is exactly what it is that we're able to do. Delta Airlines, a lot of work done with them on as you front end deal with your customers. Mm. Now, modernize the back end to connect those two. So when you rebook an airline, you'd like to be have, not only can you rebook, every associated thing that a passenger would want uh, done. And those are all those back-end systems connected to that real time while you're up in the air. So uh, Delta, big strong proponent of Red Hat as well. And so it's Red Hat and IBM, mission critical, hybrid, multi-cloud, multi-cloud on open systems so you get lots of innovation and it's very secure. Red Hat, 34 billion, amazing acquisition. You're someone who knew about acquisitions. You were someone who helped integrate, for example, PwC's IT consulting yes. business within IBM previously. How are you ensuring that the integration can be as smooth with Red Hat? Yes, well, for, first off, a couple words. I, I don't think uh, the word is, quote, integration as a traditional, mm -hmm. um, and it's related to what you just asked me a minute ago. So Red Hat, as I said, is the world's number one number one open source company, and together we're the number one hybrid cloud provider. So, when we acquired Red Hat, which by the way, um, it is a very fair price. They are a very good company, and a very profitable company, which is not usually high growth, high profit, is not what you associate <laughs> with some of a cloud company. And not with a recent IPO. So, so <laughs> an outstanding firm built over many years. And IBM's worked with Red Hat over 20 years. We were the original folks that really helped propel open source onto the stage. We put a billion dollars into something called Linux back then, yeah. because the architecture of the future, it has been decided now. And I know these are, you know, just not everyone is uh, familiar with all the tech pieces of this, but it will be Linux, it will be this thought of containers on top, and something called Kubernetes that moves the containers around. Just like you thought of the past, the internet and how it was run, this is the future architecture. I think that war is over, that is the architecture of the future. Hmm. That is what Red Hat is, and they are the number one there. And so when we, when we acquire them, we have two roles with them. I think of it as horizontal, vertical. On one hand, we are leaving them as a separate and distinct unit. 
and I have had plenty of experience, as you said. I've done 60 acquisitions in my time. And because, for a really important reason, they will participate and continue to be the leader in open source, so that's a very different community out there. Mm. They must remain committed and neutral to that. The second is, they have to be on all our competitors' platforms. So I want them to see firm neutrality on that. So they will work and put themselves on all those platforms as they do today, and then what IBM does, so think of them as, um, completely non-biased. IBM will be opinionated. So what we will do is, <laughs> we take their products, we make the best mission critical cloud, private and public, and that's what clients need, and I have already built all my software to take advantage of theirs. So you can actually now take IBM's entire key software portfolio, and it can run anywhere. To a client, that is a dream, to be able to renovate. All the mission critical apps of the world are built on IBM, so we now, own the origin, we own the starting point, the world is already ha more than half Linux, which is what Red Hat is, and then the destination is that architecture.